Yeah, absolutely. And it doesn't always present as the first issue that you need to look at, but the problem is, is that if you don't deal with that stuff further down the track, um, everything comes back up again. So you really need to get that stuff sorted out so that you can get everything kind of running smoothly, otherwise it all just falls in a heap. If someone has is on a ticker listing and I'm trying to do housing work with them, I can't get them housing until we get the ticker problem sorted out. If I want to help them get back into education but they have a huge debt hanging over their head, they're not going to be able to pay their school fees and carry through with their schooling until that's dealt with. I've been using the Health Check now for uh, over 12 months and I find that it actually helps identify the legal issues and uh, steps that we need to take with them. Yeah, the Legal Health Check is really useful to use when things are really busy because it allows us um, to sit and focus on the person's legal issues and to have a guided conversation around that instead of just a brief, you've got this kind of stuff going on and I don't know a lot about it and I don't have time to deal with it so we're just going to push it aside and deal with other stuff. So the form is, the, the legal health check is really useful to sit down and take a moment just to actually focus on the person's legal issues. Legal health check is helpful because client and I can take time to go through a range of um, issues there in their life, um, looking into housing, Centrelink aspects or their issues. It actually probably streamlines our work, if anything, when it comes to legal issues. Uh, what we've done is, or myself personally, is I've incorporated it into my initial intake with clients. So we can refer back to the postcard um, and ask those basic questions again. So it hasn't taken any additional time. If anything, it's made it easier for us. And another one, I was supporting a young man whose mother had passed away um, and had a significant amount of money in a, um, an estate account, a trust account for him. And it was a lot of legal paperwork that I had no idea how to do um, to help him access that money. And the, the community lawyers were able to help us fill the forms out and speak with the um, the estate holders and to get him access to that money which was amazing. So. The guidelines there are just very plain and simple and it's very easy for you know for our clients to understand. I mean you know they've really got enough issues going on as it is you know they don't need any more um, added problems. So it's just very good to just you know to just hit the nail on the head be very precise with that so they understand about one information that they need when they do go and talk to uh, you know the legal service. When I'm using the uh, legal health check with the refugees the health check allows us to step them through what, uh, what the process is in a clear, clear way. Usually they're very frightened and hesitant when they come through and this allows us to put them at ease through its clear language. I find it really user friendly, you know, and I'm not a lawyer, so if I can understand it, then it's, you know, it's pretty comprehensible. Uh, if a client doesn't understand, we're there doing the form with them anyway. So we can always explain it in another way that they can understand it, whether it's because of culturally they don't understand or intellectually, we're there. So it's, it's really user friendly. I think it will help the client to open up what they, you know, what their priority in what we need to do first in the legal matters. The Legal Health Check gives me an opportunity to open up a dialogue with clients around different domains of their life. This helps make the, the issue just a smaller issue rather than have to be confronted by one large issue. So we often refer to the postcard. Uh, we have dozens of people come through the door at a time, so a few quick questions gives us all the indication that we need to refer them on to our visiting lawyers for legal help.